Hello everyone and welcome to the second episode of my Battlefield City career mode series. Uh, as you can see we changed up the format a little bit, hopefully it's gonna be faster paced for you and uh, better for me to edit as well. So today we are gonna go through the Pristine tournament, as you can see before we head out. We sent out uh, two scouts, one to England and one to Ireland. Uh, they're both one star as per our rules and we can expect them in about a month so I'm pretty excited as to what can they find um, we got an email that uh, Ryan Yates has the leadership trait but he's obviously not gonna be getting the uh, captain band just yet he has to earn it because no current captain has to get to preference right and he's also much older so I feel like it's more of a thing um, and he welcomed us in the club as well, so that's plus points. Uh, some of our objectives, probably the hardest is gonna be the youth development or uh, of course that they want us to win the league, so actually winning the league might be the hardest. Um, so in our lineup, of course, our new signings, Van Hau, uh, Charles Abbey and uh, Ryan Yates. And we will see how uh, quickly uh, they can pick it up in the this club. Uh, the first goal of this match happened after a quite an atrocious mistake in uh, by O'Donnell. Uh, overall our defense made um, a lot of mistakes this match. Uh, right after the kickoff uh, of course Abby tried to equalize but uh, was was a tight angle so was hard position for him and here the, in 42nd minute we could completely dismantle it so uh, our defense definitely needed some some work I mean it's their first match so it's understandable uh, another chance from uh, a team which name I actually can't pronounce I think uh, this was probably our biggest chance in this match so far uh, but of course, was an offside. But a few minutes later, uh, from a similar position, just by triangle, uh, just above find, uh, found the top corner of the net, and it was uh, two one. And we were pretty uh, energetic at this point of the match and wanted to throw, at least to throw. And in the end, in the 83rd minute, somehow. Uh, Anderson, who came from the bench, uh, managed to equalize, and then this chance in the 90 second minute was very, very close, but sadly missed. Uh, so our first match in the group and the 2-2. Uh, Donaldson, the man of the match with two assists, came on from the bench. It was a really good performance. After the match, we got offer from. For uh, Aaron Doyle, uh, that I happily accepted, and also an offer for Kevin Meller. As you can see, success of Donaldson and uh, performance of Charles Abbey uh, didn't go unnoticed. For our second match, we uh, changed the lineup quite a bit, I tried different wingers, uh, different center back, and we were playing against Bristol Rovers. And first chance of the match again from Anderson, who seems pretty, pretty agile, uh, pretty quick on the ball. He was pretty good to play with, uh, but still he's gonna be probably a bench player. Um, in this match we had uh, quite a lot of chances actually. It was Connolly who scored the first goal in the uh, first minute, fifty second minute of this match. After the ball route through between uh, the goalkeeper and defender, so 1 0, and it was probably closest they actually got to the goal, though, in this match, because in the uh, 87 minute, uh, McCartan, who came from the bench, scored the second goal, and we got the first win uh, in this tournament. Um, pretty easy win actually and then Connery made of the match pretty 
pasty. All of our fingers, right, right fingers, both, both of them, I should say, are pretty pasty, pretty, pretty good. Um, redeemed our scout uh, future star uh, that we can, of course, um, send to different club uh, to spice up our save. Um, again, I'm full strength in the third match of the group. Um, at this point, we needed to just get some points to get out of the group. But of course, we don't play just on uh, a draw. There are chances on both sides, I would say. Uh, but it didn't really feel like uh, any team has too much advantage. There was, there was a great free kick, and from counter attack, uh, sadly, Ismail completely missed. I'm not sure what he was even trying. And sadly, uh, Donaldson also didn't manage to find uh, the back side of the net. So, 0 0 in the third match. Um, Ismail, the middle match. Again, our ending as I probably best in terms of what players we have at the club uh, and the start that we don't have to buy got some basic prize money and uh, you can go to the semi-finals against renders FC uh, Danish club I'm playing Connolly on the left this time because uh, uh, I wanted to try both of the wingers uh, in the same time and left Woods on the bench uh, it was very very close actually early in the game by Fogen. and I don't know what Yates was trying to do there was, his leg was pretty high, he was also offside but uh, he, <laughs> he pretty much saved the goal if anything uh, that was very close shot again from Randres it was pretty exciting match in the first uh, half at least, the second half was more nervous I would say but in this point uh, Fao and Charles were in the penalty area and um, the penalty that Charles Ebay took for himself and managed to score was really really close as you can see keeper probably uh, don't know what he expected but it was right next to him anyway <laughs> it was again a show of our defense not being very uh, well synced yet but uh, luckily Odeon uh, got that shot with his right arm that was, this was a really good positioning I would say by Van Hoe the individual performances by the defense were pretty good but just not really the team cohesion there yet. Just a win of the match, of course. You can see in the end we had big advantage uh, in terms of shots on the goal. After the match, we went for Felix Mecca to improve our midfield uh, going forward. Uh, surprisingly, we got him pretty cheap uh, as well as the wages. So, of course, he wanted. Uh, a little bit of the uh, rise on the wages, but that's part of the mod that I'm running. And it is gonna make our career noticeably harder, especially in the start, because players uh, coming in will want wages. So, on to the final now, though, uh, against Zuckerberg, the team that we uh, drew in the last match of the groups. 0-0 uh, zero, zero, with Mecca uh, in the midfield already and uh, let's see what we can do if we can get all the prize money that would be really great first chance of the match from really tight angle again from Pritchard who showed to be really uh, reliable on the left side coming from the bench in the last match but then a very sad thing happened. Chris Woods, our left back, got uh, injured. So, uh, by basically nothing, just a, a bad step got him injured for a whole three months. 
uh, so uh, richest events uh, coming out for him. There were chances on the both sides, but in the 57th minute, he go from Circleberg. Really unfortunate, uh, uh, getting a goal in the second half. Uh, here, that was really close chance from Mecca. Really, really unlucky that he couldn't uh, score from that position. And McCartan coming on for him right after it. Missed also from uh, about 30 yards out. But finally, in the 90th minute, Connolly decided not to cross actually to the Knudsen and shot on the first post. Shelbert uh, is delighted. So we went to the penalties and uh, I'm just gonna leave them all in because they were pretty exciting. Bogan here couldn't <laughs> score the penalty. Uh, so 1 1. Still 1 1 actually. Uh, this part is pretty wild. Charles Abbey likely uh, scored that one. Uh, now 2 1 for Zuckerberg. Donaldson. There was someone who I was believing he could be really good at penalties. Missed one. Zuckerberg also missed another penalty. So 2 1 for Zuckerberg still. Did the really lucky shot from Ryan Yates. Uh, to the post and in. So it was 3 on for Zuckerberg. He had a key penalty uh, by Connolly. Uh, and his legs were really shaking, but <laughs> in the end, he placed it pretty well to the top right corner. And now, penalty from Zuckerberg player tried to chip it sideways and really, really slow chip. So Udonal had no problems with that. Uh, so it was uh, time for uh, McCartan, who I didn't really believe in. I moved him out of the first five penalties, but in the end, it was his penalty that uh, won us the international cup. Uh, so we got all the money that we really, really wanted to uh, make our team stronger, and also we have the first trophy of uh, this year. So. It's really nice to start the season off with. Uh, play of the match was actually from the Selkeberg's team, though it wasn't even Donaldson. So for us to go for uh, the players that we wanted, uh, which is Tahi Chung, we had to cancel the loan of uh, Dewitt that we didn't even want in the first place. But actually, it would save us enough wages um, in the budget, so we can go for Tai Chung, who obviously has really high wages. Uh, at least the price wasn't that bad, but he's on uh, hit uh, one year of contract left. And he goes straight to our starting lineup. Uh, also, Chung is going to be taking a lot of the free kicks because he is actually our best free kick taker, along with Riley right now. Anyway. This is uh, all for this episode. Uh, we were pretty successful in the first month, and uh, I can't wait personally for the second month uh, of August to start a league. Uh, we have a cup game against against Derby County. I can't I can't wait to see how well we measure against other league clubs. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, don't forget to like if you like it. Uh, subscribe and hit the notification button to not miss any future episodes remaining probably in the end of the week uh, going forward. I will see you in the next one.